everybody. Welcome back to the Sports Place, where we talk sports and have sports debates. I know it's only been a week since we've been here, but I feel like it's been a really long week and I've missed my co-host and I'm just really glad to be here. Go ahead and hit like and subscribe for me below and let's get the show started. All right, so I'm wondering who you guys think is right in this Aaron Rodgers situation. Uh, do you side with Aaron Rodgers or the Packers or do you find yourself somewhere in the middle ground? talking too much or does he have a valid point what do you think you mind if i jump in here real fast because no take off i'm definitely middle ground but i'm leaning i'm always going to side with the players on this in this particular issue um i think the fire was started by shefty uh, we call it apparently this was a long term uh, not a feud, but something that was bubbling even more so than on the draft day. But on draft day, that's when the information was released. That's when the, the chum was thrown into the water to see what sharks would bite, you know, to switch their draft picks and everything like that. Aaron Rodgers isn't happy at Green Bay right now. He just isn't. They drafted the quarterback. They traded for that quarterback. They, you know, the Green Bay organization is prepping for life after Aaron Rodgers while Aaron Rodgers is still at MVP form. Um, and it's hard. And he's like, what are you guys doing? Why are you getting my replacement? And they're like, well, you had an off year and then you had a dynamite year. And now all of a sudden, you know, now that now that they're scrambling because it looks like at first when they when he had a bad year, it looked like they were making a really smart decision. And now that he's having a great he had a great year, it's like, well, why are you trying to replace Aaron Rodgers? He's your man. So I'm gonna side with Aaron Rodgers on this. Um that means the organization didn't have faith in him. He had a he had a bad a bad year. He had a down year, not even bad, a down year. And the organization was like, "Well, we need to start thinking about life after him." And then he came back and he said, "Hey, I'm Lazarus, baby. I, I can come back anytime. You know, I can come back. Um, just put the weapons around me. Put the weapons around me, and we'll win." And now they're scrambling, and now they're trying to come back and say, oh, well, they're, they're going to have to appease them. They're going to have to appease them. So I don't know how they're going to do that, but Aaron Rodgers, I'm, I'm signing with him right now. I wholeheartedly agree with you there. You know what I'm saying? Because you know we both were players, so coming from the player aspect of it, you always want to side with the player. But just on regular basis, the way they handle the situation, Aaron Rodgers' down year was a great year for any other quarterback in the league. They only said it's a bad year because we were so used to seeing him dominate the league, which he showed again. Oh, yeah, I'm not done. Like you said, I'm going to bounce right back. So as far as that, like I say, it's a slap in the face to a quarterback like that. you got a Hall of Fame quarterback, top-tier quarterback, still up there with every quarterback in the league, and you're going to – I understand, like I said, from an organization standpoint, I do understand you always got to prepare yourself for the future anyway because, like I said – Aaron Rodgers could sign the biggest deal and retire the next day if he wanted to, because he's already etched in the books. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So as far as that, I do understand where those days come from, but it's the way you go about things. Aaron Rodgers should have been fully involved in that draft process. Ask him, what do you think the team needs? Give him the same greatness and respect that Tom Brady gets, because he's definitely in that category. May not have the same amount of uh, Super Bowl and stuff like that, but as far as skill and talent, everybody knows Aaron Rodgers is right there next to Tom Brady. But... <clears throat> Coming from the players' perspective, Aaron Rodgers, we're in the we're in the time where players are the most outspoken in NFL or sports history. Like this day and age, everybody's speaking up for themselves. Everybody handling the business the way they want to. So, the way Aaron is talking, it is what it is. He backs it up with his play. So either you're going to get me out of here, or you're going to respect me. So Green Bay has a decision to make in their hands. Well, Aaron has a decision to make in his hands because I feel like he's in control, full control of the situation. Either they're going to give him more money to make him happy or he's going to find somebody else to make him happy. That's how it goes. The revolving door of talent, but you don't find talent like that often. And uh, I think the organization really messed up. Like you said, they didn't give him the respect that, you know, a lot, the quarterback position, you know, being a defensive lineman by trade, um, you don't really get that much respect in the hierarchy of the rest of the positions. The quarterback position is supposed to be that, that, that top and, you have other organizations, other professional organizations hitting up their quarterbacks saying, hey, we're going to draft a quarterback in round four, in round three. And like, this is essentially your replacement that they're drafting. And you just want to be informed as the quarterback. OK, my team is deciding to go in this fashion or on this in this way, not having any say 
is not a good look because you have other organizations who have hit up their quarterbacks and say, we're drafting a quarterback. Even if you just tell them, just to tell them, to put them on notice, we're drafting a quarterback, there's a way it should be done, um, especially for your franchise quarterback who's the reigning MVP, who's brought you Super Bowl championships, um, who's brought you regional championships, who's broken so many records for you um and there's a way to maneuver when you're moving uh especially the quarterbacks um i don't even want to say he's being sensitive about the situation because you just want to know and it, it rubs you the wrong way when you're not in the know when you know you're, you're you're a quarterback so you have the whole offense you know the whole offense but then everybody's doing something behind somebody's doing something behind your back you're like what's going on over here it, it throws you off and it's definitely not a good feeling to be around yeah, and also the main thing I want to end it off with is like you don't want that type of chemistry in your locker room. You don't want to battle between a player and the higher ups in the organization because a lot of time the team is going to side with that player who has that influence on the team. Now you don't want that friction in your locker room. But that's all I can say about the situation. I am not Aaron Rodgers. I don't look like him. I don't have the money he has, any of those intangibles. But I do think he deserves the respect. And I do think you guys should come back next week and tune into the Sports Place. Make sure you like, subscribe, and talk to us for a little bit, man. We need somebody to talk to. It's been a long week, man. Give us some comments. Let us know what we're doing right. Let us know what we're doing wrong. <laughs> Just argue. We're, we want it all. <laughs>